Hello everybody, I am Sayyidak Kishirazi, Assistant Professor and PhD Scholar in Statistics. Today in this video, I am going to teach you about the two sample t-test in SPSS. Dear audience, I have managed my lecture in four basic steps. At first step, I will teach you what is the two sample t-test and what is the main difference between paired and unpaired t-tests. At the second step, I will teach you in which situations the two sample t-tests can be applied. I mean to say, what are the conditions, what are the assumptions that must be fulfilled before applying the two sample t-tests. And if these assumptions are not fulfilled, then what must be the alternate solution in this case? At third step, I will teach you how to perform the two sample paired and unpaired t-test in SPSS to get the results. At fourth and final step, I will teach you how to interpret the results and how to make the summary and report of these results. So go to the step one. If you want to compare two groups or two population on mean, you can use the two sample t-test where the standard deviation of the population is unknown to you. For example, you want to compare two types of fertilizers, you want to compare two types of individuals on mean height, you want to compare two groups of plants on mean height, on leaf, mean leaf length, you can use the two sample t-test. Step 1 is going to continue. What is the pair t-test? The pair t-test can be applied if you collect two samples from the same individuals. The individuals must be same for collecting two samples. The pair t-test will be applicable. Further, the pair t-test has two cases. At first case, you will collect the two samples before and after applying some treatment and some methods. For example, if you want to check the effect of a particular module or course, then you will collect the first sample before applying that module and the second sample after applying that module. In this case, both the samples will be paired, both the samples will be dependent. A second example is, if you want to check the effect of a weight losing medicine, then you will collect the two samples before applying this medicine and after applying this medicine. In this case, both the samples will be dependent and paired. Second case, same subject and different methods or treatments. For example, you want to make a comparison between two modules or courses. Keep in mind, in first case, the module was single and the data were collected before and after applying that module. Here are the two modules to be compared. If you want to make a comparison between two modules and you will collect the two samples on same students. First, you will apply module 1, let us suppose, on the students and collect data. On secondly, you will apply the second module on the same students and collect the second sample. In this case, both the samples will be dependent, both the samples will be paired. As a second example, if you want to check the performance of two instruments to measure the blood pressure of patients, you can apply the pair t-test. For example, first you apply the stethoscope to measure the blood pressure of some patients and put the data in sample 1. Secondly, apply the dynamic to the same individuals and put the data in sample 2. In this case, both the samples will, will be dependent and paired and in both these cases, you will apply the paired or dependent t-test. Now, unpaired t-test. The unpaired t-test compares two independent groups or treatments on average on mean. For example, you want to compare two different treatments on average yield. You want to compare two different groups or 
individuals on average scores, on average heights, etc., the unpaired details will be applied. Now, go towards step 2. In step 2, we will teach you what are the situations, what are the conditions, what are the assumptions that must be fulfilled before applying the t-test. These are the assumptions here I am going to elaborate. The first assumption is the data that will be used in the procedure, in the process of t-test must be on interval or ratio scale. The data must not be from the ordinal or nominal scale. For example, if you have the data from questionnaires where you have the options of yes or no, agree, disagree, satisfied, dissatisfied and the data coded from that options cannot be used in two sample t-test. Data must be on interval or ratio scale means the data should be for weights, lengths, heights, etc. Second assumption is the observations are independent of one another means the observations must be free from autocorrelation. 